Hey everyone, my name is Goodgis, and today I'm going to be showing you a devlog on one of my latest projects, Dewdrop Dynasty. Now, Dewdrop is a bug themed Metroidvania. Uh, it kind of has an MS DOS style to it, and it's more so just a smaller project uh, for me to get familiar with Godot and try to create a more, I guess, commercial product. Now, many of you may be wondering um, my background or where I come from, and I actually don't come from a programming background at all. I actually am a graphic designer by trade, and I just have this fascination for programming. Um, I started out using GameMaker when I was a kid and then switched over to Construct or Construct, however you want to say that. Um, but eventually I decided it was time for me to be a big boy programmer and start learning Godot. So what is Dewdrop Dynasty and why am I working on it? Well, it all started about a year ago with uh, me and my fellow friends at Fearth Studio. Um, we're chatting about uh, a new project to work on. And like most designers, I think we have a hard time um, actually finishing games and titles. It's very easy to make projects that um, are amazing in your head, but they're hard to execute. And so we wanted to get better at executing a more middle, mid-range length project. At that point, we had only really worked on uh, our MMO uh, RPG game, or I guess it's a, more of an MO RPG called Wizards. And before that, we made an MO RPG called Fantasy World. If you are curious on how I made those, then stay tuned for future videos. We were thinking about what would be a fun, small project for us to work on and kind of just like collaborate between the three of us. Talked about the idea of making a small little Metroidvania. And this was around the time that I was playing uh, a lot of sock pop games. They were popular and they had this game called uh, Bobo Robot. And you're just like this little robot that would run around and shoot things. And it was really short, but I, I love the idea of like having a little game with exploration and you know with unique characters and dialogue and i thought this is the approach that we should take so the bug theme just came from an idea of what if we made it like a different setting i was another thing i was really interested at the time was pikmin and i thought it was interesting how you had these different creatures that were based on plants and i thought what if we made it um a bee you know a bee that's trying to get back to his hive and then something happens along the way and obviously the only the villain had to be a spider because what else would it be and i know it may look like we uh copied hollow knight but actually i didn't even know anything about it when i first started this project so our goal was to make the game in a month seems easy enough but the first time around um we didn't get very far i was using construct 2 at the time and even though it's great software especially for prototyping games it's just not great for uh, longer projects and the physics system was really fighting me and I feel like I've been, you know, I understand Construct pretty well. I've used it for a decent amount of time and heck, I've, like I said, I made an MMO in it, um, but I just felt like it wasn't working super well. So we tried it, we, we sketched ideas, we met once a week and no matter what we did, we just couldn't figure it out. A couple months passed. And we thought about trying, you know, another attempt at uh, Dewdrop. And I thought if I create a level editor, maybe that could help workflow. Because last time we kind of got bottlenecked where we created the, the base elements, you know, people create sketches. But then when it came to actually making the levels, it was just me doing it all by myself. And really, other than just like the, the other guys giving some ideas, it really didn't, they couldn't help. So I realized that was the bottleneck and I was working on uh, a level editor using JSON and tile maps and it actually got pretty far. It was pretty sophisticated, but then the game kind of got weird because I felt like I was focusing more on this tool than actually creating the small you know, game. It was like the most overkill thing that we could have ever created for such a small game, but we learned a lot from it. Finally, we tried it one more time and we thought, what if we create it in Godot? I picked it up surprisingly quickly. Another thing that was really helpful was that importing artwork 
was so easy because instead of actually having to manually go into the constructs editor and load a file and then crop it, that you could just import a sprite sheet, which if you need to edit it, you can just edit it outside of the game and it updates in game was so important because 99% of the work a lot of times is just adding artwork. So I decided I would give myself a week to try to work on it and improve the, the engine and maybe recreate the map. Three weeks later, you can see that I didn't listen to that deadline. Um, instead, I added, I started working on a menu, a saving feature, I completely remade the maps. Um, I added enemies, I added you know, taking damage, I even added New Game Plus. So in the current state, Dewdrop is looking good. It's actually the furthest it's ever been, and I feel like it's actually pretty close to being done. Now, my goal is to finish up the first area. I've been working on a boss, and I just need to finish his, his movements and kind of how you get there. And to keep it simple, like, I'm almost treating it like this first boss is the final boss. If I can just finish and refine these these first areas um, and just make it really fun, then adding a new location isn't going to take time at all. It's more so I already have the artwork and the artwork because of the style is easy to implement. So I really just want to make a polished experience. If there's anything that you guys have noticed from this um, video that you'd like to point out and maybe if you have some insight on what I could do to improve it, please let me know. This has definitely been an interesting journey and I don't want this project becoming way bigger than it needs to be. So this devlog is kind of a way for me to reflect and look at, hey, okay, maybe this doesn't make sense. Maybe this is going too much. And also for you guys to say like, hey, yeah, maybe adding like 10 character options and you know different color palette swaps, all this stuff. Maybe that's not necessary. Maybe you just need a game where you shoot things and it feels good. And so um, I hope you stick along for the next part of this journey and see the updates. If you would like to follow along, make sure to check out my Twitter at the Goodgis. Check out our Discord, feel free to chat, or check out our website at fearthstudio.com. So I appreciate you watching this and stay tuned for more interesting videos. And hopefully I don't break anything.